Morrison's and Lidl. So the first thing, it is, isn't it, Imogen? Uh, the first thing that you do when you go for your, you know, your lessons with your instructor is understand what your needs are and let them understand yours. Crucially, you need some sort of progress report so you must understand when you're having lessons with your instructor that you have some sort of format so you both understand essentially what you're doing they understand what you want you understand what they want so usually um about four hours a week about three months in a manual car you should be able to pass your driving test now let's say you're having six eight ten hours a, a week you should you, you should pass your driving test very very soon so it should take you no more than let's say two months to pass your test again it's all dependent on how many lessons you have so what we're going to do is we're going to go over a test route today in leeds sorry in bradford i forgot what city i was in then in terms of getting this uh, test route done now this test route is approximately six and a half miles it's 25 minutes now in terms of your driving test, you usually your driving test should take you around uh, 40 minutes and you should finish your test route in uh, about 30. But all in all, your whole driving test is about 40 minutes. Now, going back to what we discussed about, about lessons, reasonably, uh, you shouldn't be piggy banked. So there shouldn't be another pupil in the car while you're having your driving lesson. It's not very good. And try and avoid that. You know, sometimes it breaks your confidence it's important that you know if you don't want that if you don't want that that you explain that to your your, your instructor and your instructor will hopefully inshallah uh, respect that and accommodate that now in terms of your sat nav uh, you use a sat nav for 20 minutes nephew so you don't use it for a long time and 20 minutes honestly is like five minutes when you're on your driving test it's not long so what you and i are going to do now we're going to go over a test route together now this one is six and a half miles and uh, it's 25 minutes. So you and I are going to do this together. But if you've got any question that you want to ask, please do so. So we're going to move off in a second and um, we'll do this together, okay? So moving off from here, you'd make sure you check all around, making sure nobody's going around your car. So if there's anyone committed to going past your car, so if there's anyone going past your car, you would make sure that they go. How would you know that they're committed to going round you? You'd look in your right door mirror and you'd see the whole of the car. So I've checked my blind spot. There's nobody coming out. I'm going to move off. So I'm looking at my sat nav and my sat nav is telling me at the end of the road I'm turning right. So inside mirror, right mirror, signal right. Get close to the white line. Adjust my speed. So I'm slowing down as I'm approaching the junction. And I can see past Manningham Sports Centre. And it looks good. There's a white car coming down the road. He's going to turn in, so I'm going to wait until he turns into the road. Looking both ways, there's nobody coming. I'm steering quickly because I need to stay to the opposite side of the road. Left mirror check, come back onto my side of the road. Now here, what they will do is they'll ask you to pull up on the left. So I'm going to pull up where that black bin is. In Inside mirror, left mirror, signal left. left mirror check and I'll pull up by this spin. Now you'll notice when I pulled up, so I'm going to park the car for a second, you'll notice that when I parked I told you where I'm going to park. It's very important that if you are parking somewhere that you make up your mind and you park there. Assalamu alaikum uh, guys. Guys if you want to uh, talk to me uh, please salam first and my name is Ayub I prefer the term Uncle Ayub. I'm now going to move off. Now, usually in your driving test, you'll pull in about four to five times. That's normal. Okay, we call that uh, normal stops. So I'm going to look in my mirrors now, and I'm going to look into my blind spot. Signal right, right blind spot check, move off. At the end of this road, I'll be turning left. So when then white lines appear, the satna will talk to me again. By that time, I should have my routine on. There. So now, check my mirrors here. There's a little ginnel, so I'm not going to signal yet. Check my mirrors again. Signal left. Turn left. Now, when I angle my car to the left, I'm going to look past the mosque that used to be here on the right. 
Now there's a learner car up the road and there's a, a warning sign I can see and I believe there's a white van parked on the left. Now you'll see that I've parked, I stopped a little short. The reason why I stopped a little short was so I could see good. Now I'm slowly coming out. Now that I know it's safe, I'm going to straighten up. So when I stopped a little short at that junction, the reason for that was that gas van is always parked there. So I've stopped so I could see better and by stopping a little further back, I could anticipate and see better. When I was coming out, I was creeping up nice and slow. I could see up to this building, this green building, this mosque on the right. If you cannot see up to this road, then you've stopped in the wrong place. You should be able to see this building on the right, this green building, which is a mosque. Now, sometimes on this road here is where you do your emergency stop. I'm looking behind me, there's a car behind me and then I'm, I'm not going to do it anyway. Now if you're in an, a manual car, you're being gear 3 by now. Most instructors have diesel. Um, I can record in this. Well, for, we don't can watch it. No, it doesn't matter. I don't need it. No, it's alright. I've got on this. Dashcam. Oh, okay. Proper it's fine. I've got, no, I don't need it. It's hmm. fine. I can, up, I, I can upload to 4K on the downstairs computer. Alright. I'm not bothered about that anymore. That's some, you know what I mean? That's how they are. They, 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 they don't like you showing it. Yeah, so we come on Kitley Road. Yeah. No, go turn right, girl. Yeah. Oh. Yards, 700 yards, right. turn right. Number three. 700 yards. Turn right. So we're turning right here guys. So here you'll find two lanes, both of them are active. So I'm gonna go into this junction. Now my filter red, my filter green lights come on. I can turn. But if the filter wasn't on, I'd wait until both lanes were clear before I turned. So I'm now following the road ahead and soon I'll be turning left onto Toller Lane. Over here, I'll stop, apply my handbrake. So here, I look in my left door mirror come back into the left lane, signal was not necessary. Now looking in my inside mirror, following the road ahead, keeping the car to the left.
So now we're going to follow the road ahead soon. We'll get to a roundabout. At the roundabout, we'll be taking the third exit onto Duckworth Lane, I believe. So here I keep my car to the left, follow the road round and I'm going towards the hospital. So here when I'm looking to my right I'm looking at lane 2, the one that goes to taller lane on my left and it goes round the hospital. I'm also watching out for people in lane 1 that slide across. I need to also make sure the roundabout is clear when I come onto it and not obstruct any road where you'll see that this white coloured car has come into my lane and it just pulled in. I don't know why it's only not me, I've done nothing wrong. But you have to keep the keep clear clear. So you'll notice that I wasn't going into the junction and blocking the road. And that's Bradford taxi drivers for you. So it's cut into my lane. And it was a pretty sleek manoeuvre that he did. And pretty dangerous. They call that cutting up. I'm afraid it's something you need to see while you're driving, especially in Bradford. So guys, you'll notice that when I was coming off the roundabout, there was a keep clear. Unfortunately, uh, for the driver behind, I couldn't go into that. It's important that you don't. You honestly wonder what's going through his head. He did that, and he's only stopping there. Assalamu alaikum guys um, Unfortunately when you start Pressing the wrong buttons You end up taking my live feed off So it's important that If you don't like what you want to see And if especially if you're a driver instructor Then brother or sister Scroll on Anyway we're back And uh, we've still got a little bit of this route left together However this route will be uploaded Hopefully inshallah To my YouTube channel by tomorrow afternoon so guys, we're in Bradford, we're in heated test centre and if only you could have seen what happened a few moments ago and you'd see why it's hard to pass your driving test in this test centre. So here there's a box junction that you must keep clear, so you look to your right, no ambulance coming but when you're clearing it, make sure your car can clear the box junction like that and make sure nobody from your right is turning into this road because they'll take that as a welcome and they'll just come straight in you'll get stuck in a box junction and you'll end up failing your test. So for those of you that are just tuning in now, I'm Ayub, I'm a 
driving instructor. <laughs> uh, I run a channel called I Drive Leads. So guys, follow us. We're on YouTube. Follow us there. So here, I check my mirror signal left. I'm looking at the two guys over there. Left mirror check again. Left mirror check again. And coming to my road, staying close to double up to the double yellow lines. Straight in my car, inside mirror check, and follow the road ahead. So the speed limit here is 30, but travelling at 30 is too fast for this environment. So I'm doing about 24, and that's perfectly safe going down in gear 3, which is the appropriate gear for this road that I'm on now. Soon I'm going to approach a roundabout. At the roundabout I'm going to turn right, third exit. So we'll be turning right soon onto Ollerton Road. So here I check my mirrors. I don't signal yet, it's a little early. But I'm now going to check my mirrors to signal right. And I'm also looking at anyone ahead of me where that black car is to see if they're turning right, which is to my left where that red car's going. So I'm looking to my right, there's a car coming now, a black coloured car, so I'm going to wait for this taxi. Now there's a red car coming. I'm also looking ahead of me at the black car coming towards us. This white car has to wait for me, so I'm now going to go. It's safe on my right, I'm following the road round. I don't need to signal to come off. Now I'm looking at the sat-nav and it's telling me I'm going to turn right at the next roundabout. Now you'll notice that when I tell you something, I already know what I'm doing. So I'm looking at the sat-nav, I'm predicting what it's telling me. Now the only way you're going to pass with the sat-nav is by understanding what it's going to tell you before it tells you. So now right mirror check because I need to go over the white line because there's parked vehicles. So I'm straddling two lanes, right mirror check again and I'm fully in this lane. Left mirror check, see what's going on. Now I can't come to my left because there's parked cars. So I'm going to touch this line, we call it straddle staying a meter away from any part vehicle that shows what my intention is to move back into the lane on the left when it's safe and when I've got a reasonable opportunity at the moment there is none so left mirror check again I'll signal left left mirror check come into my left lane now this roundabout I'm gonna turn right at okay now my advice to you as an experienced driver is to stop then turn right it's a closed junction and it, you can't see much. So mirrors, signal, I'll stay very close. Now you can drive over most of this roundabout, but you've got to treat it like a roundabout. So there's nobody coming from my right. I'm going over half of the roundabout, as you can see, and I've gone. So you'll notice that I went over half of the roundabout. Perfectly legit, absolutely fine, no issues. Now you'll notice on this test route, there's lots of mini roundabouts. At the next mini roundabout, I'll be taking the first exit left. Now, if you're not very good with hill starts, you are going to struggle on this test route. So you must make sure that your clutch control is tight and you understand how petrol and diesel clutches work. So I'll be turning left at this roundabout. So check my mirrors here, signal left. Make sure none of these cars are turning and then if it's safe you go. See taxi man just turned on his signal and he's turned before the roundabout. He's supposed to do what this black car's doing now. And like this red car. Not like this Tesla. So you're supposed to go around the roundabout, not before the roundabout. It's very important that you realise that. You don't copy your elders and other drivers. You do what your trainers told you to do. So here, usually, you've got the whole back position to deal with. So you'll see the ambulance coming. I'm going to wait here. So here, right door mirror check and move off. You'll see the Tesla that stopped. You're going to stop before this white van for the blue coloured car because the blue car's not stopping. Right mirror check and then move off. 
Look at the white cars. You can see a car coming down in his door. And that's what we do. We either look in the car or look in the shop front window. Right mirror check, go around the parked car, back to your side. So you're then going to be asked to find a safe place to pull up on the left. So you can pull up here before the black bin. You can pull up here on a single line as long as it's not within its hours of operation. How would you know by reading the yellow sign on the left? So I can stop here if I need to. I'll be turning left soon and it's usually where you do your reverse park so you usually do your parallel park on this road so mirrors signal reduce the car speed left mirror check left mirror check again left mirror check turn into your new road at a slow pace and look at the black car coming towards you and then you come to a gentle stop because it's coming in too fast right door mirror check and move out I'm now going to take the next road on the right. So check my mirrors here, I signal right. Stay on my side of the road, right door mirror check, and then turn into my new road. And now I'm going to pull up on the left. Check my mirrors, signal left, gently bring the car in because I know there's a car behind me. Right guys, before I finish this test route off, does anyone have any more questions because if you have no more questions I'll be turning off my live feed okay since nobody wants to ask a question and nobody's liking the live feed I'll be turning this turning this off So now check my mirrors, blind spot check, slowly move out. We're following the road down, we went through an unmarked junction there so it's important that you check both sides as you're going through. So if you understand unmarked junction, brilliant. If you don't, you need to go through them with your driver, driver instructor or your trainer. At the end of We're looking at the golf. And he's waiting there. So I'm looking at the road on my left. Just see what's going on. Making sure that we're not going to affect each other. Looks good. I'm going to carry on. I'm now turning right at the end of this road. The mirrors. Signal. Reduce my car speed for a speed bump. Now because I know I'm very close to the roundabout. I'm looking at how fast cars are moving. So I'm looking to my left. I can see a red car coming. On the right, it looks good, it looks clear. Cars have just come off the roundabout and it's far. Looking both ways as I'm turning right. So I'm looking at my next instruction and that's to go ahead at the roundabout. I keep my car to the left. Cross the roundabout and take the first exit. Looking to my right, looking ahead, continue. There's nothing coming on my right and the blue BMW wasn't doing a U-turn. I'm now going to turn right at the traffic lights. I'm following the sign for Bradford. B144. Right door mirror check. Move over to the right. Check my mirrors here. Signal right. Do I need to signal right? No. Is it professional? Yes. So it's good. It's productive and it works. Quick glance to my left. Make sure no emergency vehicle is coming through. Cancel my signal. Check all my mirrors. Make sure my surroundings are good. Now look in my right door mirror as I go over this line here. Check my left door mirror to come back to my side because it's not necessary anymore. Soon I'll be approaching a roundabout. I need to make sure it's safe and we can see the sign on the left 
telling me that I'm approaching a new junction but I believe I'll be turning first exit left at the roundabout so that sign's warning me of a roundabout and it's a T-junction roundabout so anyone ahead of me turning right and then turning left into the road of my side I need to give way to if I check my mirror signal left I can't see anyone turning in he's not doing a U-turn look again it's safe I'm going to carry on I'm now going to pull up anywhere on the left I check my mirrors signal left and pull up anywhere here I'm now going to move off again, check my mirrors, signal right, blind spot check. And this is actually taking you back to the test centre. So as long as you've driven well, you've driven to a good standard, you're on your way back and it's a home run. I'll look in my right dormer here and reduce my pace. Again, I've got the whole back position with this white coloured car, so I'll slow down and wait. Right door mirror check and go through. Now the road's very narrow and I'm using that window ahead of me where the red car is as a yardstick. So if a big vehicle's coming through, I'll see a reflection. But my speed is 15, I mean gear 2, and that's the appropriate speed for the road that I'm on. Slowing down a little here. Carrying on. Right door mirror check and slowly going round to the right going over the second line and back to my side at road so you'll notice that I went over the second line the reason I did that my car was wide it's a big car that I'm driving so I can go over it as long as I deem it safe and I'm not gonna in, I'm not gonna put myself at risk so I'm now gonna turn right on the road that I originally turned right from so that's where my hill start came in if you remember so now check my mirrors signal right slow my car down going over the hatch marking into my protected area come to a stop with my reference right door mirror check looking down into the road right door mirror check as I'm going in straighten my car right door mirror check again as I move away from the parked vehicles left door mirror check to see if anyone is running alongside me I'm in gear 3 I'm doing 27 miles an hour inside mirror check to see what's going on left and right door mirror check to be aware of my surroundings right door mirror check to make sure it's safe as I'm going over the line I'm now going back to the test centre and that's where, where this big yellow building is here check my mirrors, signal right reduce the pace of my car I don't want to be zooming into the junction I'll slow down because he hasn't seen me now that he's stopped I'll carry on right door mirror check making sure the environment is good and it's safe and then I'm turning into this road you're then going to have to, be, to do a pull up on the left here I'm going to do it after the glass that's broken on the floor so I'll check my mirrors here I check my mirrors and I signal left and I park up here now you'll notice that car came into my path now if you do that on your driving test you will fail your driving test that's a trained instructor with a, a pupil there it's very important that you don't go into the path of somebody I'm now going to turn left and this will finish my test route so I'm not signalling turn left 
because it looked like I'm parking up. So check my right door mirror, move out, and now signal left. So it's very clear what my intentions are. Left mirror check, come back into my lane, and you'll be asked to pull up either inside the test center or pull up after the black bin. There's usually cones here as well. So check my mirrors, signal left, and I pull up anywhere here. So that guys was a full test room done at heat and test center and possibly one of the hardest ones you'll ever do so thank you very much for watching guys don't forget to like and subscribe and if you have any constructive feedback it's always welcome thank you and goodbye